Hey guys, it's Gabby. This week we're going to talk about what it takes to become a pufferfish chef, a tongue-eating parasite, and we're going to prove that Nemo's dad was actually turning into a girl. In Japan, eating pufferfish is considered the ultimate delicacy. Chefs who want to learn how to cook the pufferfish have to go to school for three years to learn how to do it. The final exam for the chef is to cook their own pufferfish and eat it. Essentially, you hope that if he doesn't die, you won't die when he cooks it for you. Even with all these precautionary methods, there's still about 50 to 100 deaths from pufferfish eating every single year. There's this disgusting parasite that attacks fish and eats away at their tongue. The crazy thing is that the parasite eventually becomes the fish's tongue. So when the fish eats anything, it's like a little bit for the parasite, a little bit for the fish. The good thing is that these parasites don't attack humans, so consider yourself lucky. Let me give you a warning. The picture coming up is very nasty. So it turns out that clownfish have been giving themselves sex changes for thousands of years. This is basically how it works. All clownfish are born male. The largest and strongest of the clownfish becomes the breeding female. Then the second largest and strongest of the group becomes the breeding male. If anything were to happen to the breeding female, the breeding male would step in, give itself a sex change, and become the new breeding female. Then the next strongest clownfish will become the breeding male. Basically, all the clownfish in the group are like the backup, backup, backup quarterback. None of them are ever gonna see any playing time unless Peyton Manning gets injured. Hey guys, be sure to check out last week's video and remember to subscribe for more OMG facts.